So like this workflow is just reply to a voice sample with a super cute control net photo. Then uh, just you just write, I guess you write whatever you want me to say. Jeez. Hello, internets. This is Captain with a quick video tutorial on how to use Pirate Diffusion for unlimited video. Pirate Diffusion is a Telegram bot which has over 22,000 preloaded AI models. An AI model can basically mean an art style or a specific character or an animation that is hard to prompt for. So someone went out and trained a, think of it as a plugin, which is called like a LoRa. It's a mini model that you can add to your prompt to get the exact effect that you want. So people are doing all kinds of explicit poses or um, characters on, on celebrities or whatnot. There's, there's so many of them in the community is making tons of them and sharing them and uploading them all the time. So let's go through it real quick. The first one I want to teach you is the render command, followed by the prompt, followed by the model name, followed by, there's a lot of uh, parameters that you can add, so like, such as how many images you want, what size. So if you want to go through all of the parameters, it's on piratediffusion.com. I would say just start with the simple ones, like image count and resolution. And then you can upscale later to you know, upwards of 4K. But you know, these models are trained at 1024 by 1024. So you always want to start small and then upscale. Anyway, I've here I've prompted render a cool lady eating a snow cone. The model or the, the checkpoint or base art style that I chose is a realistic one called Kriya, which is a popular model. I said, give me one image and give it to me at this size. And there you go. So the bot returns this image. Now, if I wanted to, I can use the WAN model directly as well. And then this is what what WAN gave me, um, you know, within the like the WAN art style. So you can see Kriya is a different art style. And what I did here, and what you can do, is supply your own image or render one from scratch and use the animate workflow, WF standing for workflow. So I said, okay, so I've got this picture that I want where I can attach a photo from my phone or you know, a photo from the internet or you know, from Instagram or whatnot. And I said, okay, use this image, a woman licking an ice cream cone and removing her sunglasses, looking and flirting at the viewer. And I want that in 121 frames. So here we have a low resolution animation with exactly what I asked for because what I asked for is pretty easy, I would say. Now, if I'm asking for, you know, four guys to appear behind a sofa and <laughs> that, that sort of thing, I would need to put on my director's hat and say, well, here's a woman that's by herself and, you know, two guys come out of the left and then two guys come out of the right. And then little by little, I would set up the scene to get what I want. I'm not gonna get that from 121 frames. Do you understand what I'm saying? So put your director's hat on, think about what would happen within 120 frames. And I, and I do 120 frames because the WAN model is set up to loop at 161 frames. So if you don't want an infinite loop, you wanna, you wanna stick to maybe 120, 140 frames at a time. And again, this is low resolution and we can upscale it later. So here we have two animations. Which one should we continue? Mm -hmm. Well, this one seems a little bit more fun to me, so we'll go ahead and extend this one. So I'm going to right click on it, and I'm not sure why it doesn't show up here on the video, but all I'm saying is reply, as if I'm talking to the image. Now you can see the, the reply here at the bottom. I have, it, I have the image or the video selected, and I'm going to say workflow, run. I want you to extend this. I want you to use the WAN22 model, and a woman eats the entire ice cream and drools. And this time I only want, um, you know, 80 frames of that. And once that goes out to the bot, it'll send a confirmation and then it, you can start on the next prompt. You don't have to wait. You can, you can always submit one and then start working on the next one. So we'll go ahead and start on this one also. So while that's cooking, I'm going to say for this one, I want the snowman. So it's a video, so I'm extending it with the 122 model. So snowman comes to life and attacks and chases a woman towards the left so and then rain reindeer chase them away the camera follows overhead so you can prompt what the camera is doing you can say fixed camera 
And WAN is, uh, is an open source model. There's a couple of limitations. Character consistency um, is worse when, for example, the character turns around or pulls a shirt over their face or something like that. So keeping the character's face in the frame and making sure that they have at least 100 frames before you start doing complicated things with the character, you're going to get a lot more character consistency. So here she's eating the whole ice cream and uh, didn't get the drool that I wanted, but that's a, that's an example of maybe something that's a bit of out of the norm. Well, she's, she's got kind of a kind of a drool going there. You know, things that are out of the norm, you want to look at the preloaded when Laura catalog. So there's over 400 when Laura's that you can mix into the prompt and you can also do self install. So from websites like Civit AI or uh, Hugging Face, you can install the, uh, the ones that you want. Um, okay, so here, so here you can see how we've extended the video, how the, the camera uh, went overhead because we, we prompted for a camera to do that and she, she's being chased. So I, I guess I, I've heard people say that, you know, prompting like this is, is challenging or it's, it's hard and it's really not. I mean, it's intimidating um, if, you've, if you've never been in front of a command prompt and you just want to push buttons, I guess, but it's not hard. <laughs> I don't think it's hard at all. All the commands are, are pretty self-explanatory. If we want to add audio to this, for example, that is called MM Audio. So there's over 400 workflows um, that you can do with uh, Pirate Diffusion for, for video and you, you can even make music. Um, so MM Audio, um, so Jingle Bells, Christmas music, reindeer, sounds, bells, or, you know, something like that. And that'll add some, some audio to it. And while that's doing that one, we can see what the upscale would look like. Upscale will make the image a lot more smooth or the video more smooth. So we will, so while the, while the first one is running, I'm going to say, give me this upscaled. And now I've got both queued up there. So I can do this from my phone. I can do this from my PC. I have um, another screen where I have all my favorite um, models uh, bookmarked, and uh, I use that as a reference. And it's um, capture. Oh, here it goes. I hope you can hear that. If not, I'm a terrible presenter. <laughs> and uh, we're still waiting for the video upscale, um, so that takes a, long, a little bit longer. But um, as you can see, you know, we're not waiting, you know, minutes and minutes for, for video. You can do simultaneous uh, prompts while things are running. So while that's upscaling, I can go ahead and, you know, add another you know, piece of video to this. I can start another render. I can, um, I can make a song while this is running. I can invite my friends to this chat and, um, you know, my friends can take turns extending my video or I can face swap their faces into the video or we can replace characters or you know, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with it you just got to take the time to experiment and and really learn the commands and um, you know there's there's a huge community on the uh, on the telegram channels for pirate diffusion so i recommend it to folks that like to tinker kind of early adopters and um they're uh, they're working on a video uh a, kind of a web gui for all this stuff for um for beginners that, that don't like to read. <laughs> but um, anyway, I hope that this tutorial is uh, is useful. Um, again, I want to stress that the models are uncensored and this is definitely not something that you want to you know, share with, you, know, you don't want to put your, your kids on this. Um, it's, uh, it's for adults only. Um, there's a lot of wild stuff on there, <laughs> fair warning. Um, and uh, there's a satisfaction guarantee. So um, if you're interested, if you'll give it a go, it's pretty much risk-free. And um, there's no credits, so it's it's truly unlimited, and uh, I think it's it's the best value for internet video on the web. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a try, and uh, let me know what you think. Take care. Bye. I suppose one little bite won't hurt, right? Just a taste. I'm alphabetizing raindrops and untangling everything within.